With the arrival of spring, it will soon be time to once again fix up the garden and the yard. Owner of Weston Nurseries, Peter Mezit, says things are starting to get busy. It's been a brutal winter, as you know, record snow, and uh, it's finally getting out of people's yards so they can go see their grass, and the grass is starting to turn green, so people will finally start coming in once they can get outside and stand in their yards. Seeing that we had all the snow this winter, was it difficult getting ready for the spring season? It was, especially we have a lot of changes going on at Western Nurseries where we're redoing our, our retail sales area here, our garden center uh, infrastructure. We're, we're adding new blocks to display planters and moving our plants to different locations. So we couldn't really start that until first week of April here, just last week. Well, what, what are some of the products that you're getting in now to start off the season? Well, we always get in our deciduous trees uh, and shrubs uh, earliest. You have to bring in plants when you're buying them in. You have to bring them in from points further south before they push out new growth. And that's when plants are harvested, especially trees and shrubs. So those are coming in now and um, we'll start to see some evergreens and then some broadleaf evergreens like hollies and rhododendrons uh, toward the middle or the end of the month and then perennials come in heavily in May. Yeah, we sell a lot of woody plants, trees and shrubs in the spring. And then uh, we'll sell certain shrubs throughout the summer, such as hydrangea. People keep buying those year-round because they flower for so long. But in the summer, we, we sell a lot of perennials. Perennials are herbaceous plants that die back to the ground and then come up again every year. We sell a lot of those in the summer. And then you get into the fall time, and there's fall interest plants that bloom later in the year that people are interested in more, more of the shrubs again. Peter also told us about some changes this year at Weston Nurseries. We're making big changes here. We're actually defining the sales area, much more of a confined area because I think in the past we've had people wandering all over what's about 20 acres here and our customers get lost. Mm -hmm. So we're actually putting up a fence and a backdrop and we're going to stock the right plants closer to where people park so it's easier to shop here this year. So that's the big change we're working on. So another thing new that we're doing this year is when you walk into our garden center and go behind the garden center, you're going to see a themed garden area with different plant displays there will be displays for plants of winter interest, plants that the deer don't like to eat, plants that we've introduced that are unique to Western nurseries, um, shade perennial plants, um, hot plants that can tolerate hot south-facing slope. So I think we're trying to make an easier shopping environment. There will be good signage with each of these plant displays, and people can go around and figure things out a lot easier than they were able to in the past. I think people all know their certain yard situation, whether it's a dry area, shady area, wet area, or if they have a deer problem. And we're trying to just create solutions for people so that when they come in, they can kind of figure more out on their own. Not that we don't want to help people, we do. But I think we're doing a better service to customers if we, if we, we give them good displays with good signage so that they'll have um, better questions for us when they're ready to ask questions. Uh, just last year got into hardscaping which is manufactured stone like bricks that are manufactured uh, different colors shapes and sizes different vendors and natural stone as well so the garden center now offers uh, two well-known manufactured stone vendors ideal and techo block and a whole uh, range of natural stone products from your cobblestone to your blue stone to your field stone and wall stone and steppers and Good products to build walls and patios for the do-it-yourselfer or for somebody to do it for them. And so when you come into the, the nursery here in Hopkinton or our Chelmsford location, you're going to see a large hardscaping area now with a lot of stone choices. And then also the fun stuff, the fire pits, the lamp posts, the hitching posts, the mailbox posts. So we've been thinking about this for a long time and it's become such an important feature in the landscape. So we can't just be all plants anymore. We have to be in the hardscaping business as well. So we're excited about that. Employees are hard at work renovating and setting up stock to get Weston Nurseries ready for what hopefully will be a great spring and summer for gardening and yard renovations.